All right, so this has been coming up quite a bit, and I want to talk about radio traffic and radio discipline for all the new police officers, even the existing police officers in the field. I don't know why they didn't talk about this in the academy, but here I am, I have to cover it for you, and it's so important because I've seen it in two recent videos, one with a mass shooting, another one with a police officer was shot. It's tying up the radio during these times of extreme circumstances when we need the air clear. We need to be able to let the person who needs to communicate the most important and valuable information to have the ability to communicate that and not hear from everybody on the police department on where they're coming from, what they're doing, asking for a repeat transmission, trying to get guidance from dispatch. Folks, go to the other channel, leave that channel clear. Every administrator watching this video should have in-service training on how to employ radio discipline. This makes a lot of sense, and we're seeing videos of police officers who cannot get out important, pertinent information during times when lives are on the line because everybody else has never learned how to keep their mouth shut. This is one of the most frustrating things for most police officers is when other people that work with them tie up the air. You can't get on the air for any situation because somebody else wants to sound like a DJ on the radio and has fun playing radio games with everybody and wants to hear themselves talk. I don't understand it, I never will, and all of us need to comprehend that when we do things like that, we put everybody else at risk. So employ discipline and stop talking on the radio as much as you do, unless it's ultimately necessary.